Hello, it's me James and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get the bubble column um, block in survival, 100% survival as you can see um, I've got two here already um, and it is pretty simple to do, it's kind of like the nether portal one but um, we're obviously going to be using advantage of soul sand or obviously a magma block um, depending on which one you have. So what you're going to need for this build, um, literally not even that much, um, a dispenser, um, ignore the iron block and the wool. I have no idea why that's in there. Um, so yeah, you're going to need a dispenser, um, a torch, observer, um, three pieces of obsidian, uh, you don't need six. Um, one piece of soul sand, a button, some redstone, um, you don't need a stack, one pressure plate, um, some a water bucket, a piston, and some blocks of choice. Okay, once you've got those, um, it's super simple. Before I build this though, I should give out a shout out to um, the guy on Reddit where I've seen this. Um, I'll put his channel, um, his Reddit post in the description, so if you guys want to have a look. He does it a little bit different, he still blows it up with TNT, but... Um, Obviously, you don't need to make a massive explosion when you only need to place a torch. So, um, let's first of all get yourself some tea. Um, first of all, let's get yourself some soul sand. Let's place your soul sand down straight like that. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, simply just place your obsidian here. Now, I'm only putting the bottom blocks on because it's just, it's just a holder block. You actually only need two blocks there and there so um two blocks of obsidian will do you perfectly and now this is actually um where your torch is going to go okay so you're going to want to place another holder block there it doesn't have to be obsidian um with your dispenser facing you that way you're then going to want to get your observer place your observer in there um and as soon, as soon as you've done that you want to get your pressure plate okay throw your pressure plate here um, obviously, don't do not do this at night when you're going to get attacked like me. Um, yeah, place your pressure, place your pressure plate here. Then let's get our redstone. And we're just going to link up this like so. And we're also going to link it up on the top. So, okay, you probably have to crouch space to do that one. So, obviously, you're going to need to place these corner blocks on as well. Just so the redstone can link up. You're also going to want to place... A block there for, you, for your piston. So you're going to grab your piston now. Crouch base. Face this way. Making sure it's facing that way. So now when we go on this. Uh, well not now. It, but when we do go on that. We can actually get it to link up. So let's go around here. Um, and what we can do. Is we can go up here. Um, and we're going to link all this up now. Okay. So now, you just want to bring some redstone round to here, at the back of your piston, sorry. So there we go, as you can see, when you go in, and all you, finally all you want to do, get your water bucket. Okay, so you want a different redstone path to this one, than this one. Obviously, what what's happening here, when this piston comes out, this will activate, and then it will suck back in your water. So, for instance here, actually, before we put the water in, um, remember to bring your button, you need a button, um, place your button here, this way your water won't fall out everywhere every time, um, so yeah, let's, oh, no, not there, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, okay, <laughs> like, so yeah, we're just going to take that to there like that, and then take this back to here, underneath there like that, super easy, just check it, perfect, okay, now we're going to go in there, Dispenser, I'll throw a bucket of water, and now that is literally complete. All you need now is a silk touch pickaxe. Um, you've got to make sure you've got a silk touch pickaxe, and then you're just going to run forward, okay, um, and like mine that block, and at the same time, you're going to like mine the bubble column, okay. So um, you might not get it first time, but as soon as you do get the spot, it is pretty simple to like continue getting the bubble columns, okay. Oh, I got it first time, there we go, look. Uh, tile bubble column now you can do that again all you have to do is walk on this um, put your uh, torch down like so super simple as you can see I've only got one in my inventory go straight forward and there we go straight it's so easy actually it's unbelievable it's really good I'm actually quite happy with that so again let's uh, place the torch down okay so we're just going to go straight forward mining 
Oh, we didn't get one that time. Um, I think I did it too slow, maybe. Let's do that one more time. Um, so, yeah, place your torch down. And... Okay, we didn't get one that time. But, yeah, it, it's reasonably simple. Um, I mean, just to get these, you just, all you got to do, place your torch and mine. And there we go. Oh, I didn't get one that time. All right, never mind. But there you go. As you can see, I did get two. So you just got to keep at it, keep going at it. Again, um, if you do place these in the overworld, it just places down as literally nothing. If you place them underwater, it kind of like fills out the block a little bit and then just disappears as nothing again, like literally nothing. So like um, the only thing it really does is obviously you've got it in your inventory. It moves in your inventory now. And also, if you do place this down, or like, for instance, if you drop it on the floor, it still moves, as you can see, which I kind of like. And also, um, one more thing, um, in a picture frame, um, it kind of just like glitches out the picture frame. But it's, it, it sits in there, but it glitches out. So let me show you what it looks like. As you can see, and there it is in a picture frame. It's kind of trippy. It's all right. It looks kind of weird. I like it. I, I kind of like it. So, yeah, um, we've now got the bubble column block. Um, we've also got the nether portal block in the realm. Um, we still yet to get the um, end portal gateway block, but we will be getting that very soon so we can add that to our wall. And we can also add some of these to the uh, town hall as well. I think that's what we've got to do. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed the tutorial, make sure you subscribe with that notification bell on and also let me know um, if you have enjoyed it by uh, smashing a thumbs up button on the video. And also let me know in the comments as well um, if there's anything you want to see and obviously if you enjoyed the video. So that is literally it. Um, I will catch you on the next one.